All right, today we're gonna show you guys how to fillet a bluegill. First thing I like to do is get up under this fin right here, pull it back, and make the first incision right there. You can see that. Didn't go all the way through, but it is partially through. Next, what I like to do is take it right there behind the spine, and then just cut down into it. There we go. It's a little frozen, because I caught these last night and threw them in the freezer. Probably use them as some catfish bait. See? Get through there now, just that first section. Then what you like to do is just go down and through again. You can feel all along the backbone, and so you're not wasting any meat at all. You can get through enough, and you can start to lift that up. See? Then what I like to do is when you're down here, you pop it through the side, you can finish it up. Leave the tail part connected. So when you're taking the skin off, it's a little bit easier because you get a good grip on it. See, and I'll just finish it up down. Finish it up over here. See, I can just, you just run it right down that backbone. Okay. The way I'm doing it here, you don't have to worry about all the guts and entrails and all that because I'm going right over the rib cage. See, it's just pretty simple how you do it. So you just go right up over and that to pop through down here at the bottom. And you just you get right down here put it back in where you were down at the beginning and then just run it up there you go you have see you have no mess or anything like that from the entrails then what you do now is bend this part down over start your knife right here just back as about as far as possible you can go without taking off your finger and then you just want to run it right up and under there right up under the skin and there you go you have a nice little fillet this bluegill is a little small to fillet but I'm gonna use him as like a catfish bait so that's one side and see there's really no mess from the entrails and if you just flip it over you can actually do the same thing just like to start it right about here and then just run it back down. And actually, gotta get up under that fin first, cut it, and we're gonna start to run it back down. And this way, you really don't have all the mess of all the guts and stuff to clean up. It's a little bit easier. So that's when I just start to run it. Just run it right down along the backbone. And then stop right there before the tail. And take it and just run your knife down and through. There we go. And just run it all the way through. Let me do that same thing before you just run it down over the ribs. So you don't have any of the, any of the rib bones and you actually get a pure boneless filet and bluegill are actually one of my favorite eating fish I mean it is like a nice clean white meat no blood or anything it's really good to eat then sometimes you can just take it down like that because there's really not a lot of meat down in there you can just kind of run it up boom there you go yeah it's a lot easier to do with a bigger fish kind of hard doing it like this but it works and once again you just run it right back down through the tail and there you go another little piece of bluegill meat all right thanks a lot guys